So I think patients that, uh, that choose us are usually patients who have really done their homework, who have gone out and uh, sought a practice that has uh, um, a level of expertise and specialization. You know, our practice really focuses on, on the face only. Uh, and I think more and more people are realizing that it, when it comes to their health care and when it comes to their procedures that it's important to find a specialist because the outcomes are going to be better, they're going to have less issues with complications. But I think really if you ask a patient why they chose to come to us, it always comes down to two basic things. One is that the outcomes are always very natural. You know, and I think that's something that we're really known for. Um, and I think that the environment and the service that we provide in, in the practice with our entire team is, uh, is really top notch and makes people feel very comfortable in this environment. There's a huge emphasis on safety at every level. The types of procedures that we introduce into the practice, the type of products that we bring into the practice, the type of technologies that we bring in the practice, all of them start with, with the concept of having very high levels of efficacy followed by very high levels of safety. And uh, when you can do that all and maintain a very natural appearance for the person, I mean, it's really, at the end of the day, um, the, the best of all worlds. My guiding ethos in the practice, um, my sort of moral compass, if you will, at the end of the day comes down to, if this was my, my sister, my mother, my wife, you know, anyone that's, that's near and dear to me, how would I guide them when they come to me with a, with a question regarding their appearance or, or the facial plastic needs. And treating each of our patients like they're our family members and making sure that what's good enough for them is good enough for our patients is a very easy way to maintain uh, a good moral and ethical approach to the practice of plastic surgery. I founded Carmel Valley Facial Plastic Surgery in 2008. I uh, was part of a, of a group practice and I decided to go off on my own because I wanted to make sure that we apply the best the, the, the field has to offer to our patients. As a director of the, of the practice, uh, I, I oversee what happens in our surgical centers. I make sure that non-surgical providers are doing the, the best that they can do and that we have the best offerings for our patients. So overall, I take care of every aspect of, of the, uh, the patient experience and oversee all of that. So the facility that we're currently in, we built this out from scratch about uh, two and a half years ago. When we built it out, the idea was we're going to have a space that's very comfortable for the patient, that's very safe, that we have the, the most advanced technologies available for the patient. We have a surgical center that's accredited at the highest level, both by Medicare and, and JCO. Um, every one of our laser technologies are at the, at the top of their line. Every one of our medical grade skincare products are at the top of their line. My technique in facial plastic surgery is always guided by three essential concepts. One is uh, always making sure that the person does not lose their identity. You know, creating a look that is very familiar to themselves, but more or less a refinement or a restoration of what they used to look like. In the case of uh, facial rejuvenation, it's restoration. In the case of rhinoplasty, it's refinement. The forefront of all that is to do that in a way that is extremely safe. The least potential complications associated with that and the highest level of predictability in the outcomes. So I would say my technique overall is described as minimally invasive, highly predictable, and overall very safe. And at the end of the day, creates a very natural looking outcome. <music>